finishing up the last couple of traps I have to boil up. And uh, I did get a package from Moyles, Mink, and Tannery. And I sent some fur to them last year. I wanted to share that with you. I'll be opening it up, seeing how my flushing job went. See you inside. I figure I'd do a unboxing. These are the furs I sent out last year to be done, to be tanned by uh, Moyle, Mink, and Tannery. And first time really, uh, the only thing I ever put up was beaver and muskrat. So this is my first time doing fox, coon, possum, mink. So we'll see how I came out and check out the fur. Also there's fox. And like some fur sticking out there. That's a good sign. Okay. Boy, they pack it in there. Okay. Well, here's one of my raccoons. pretty good really. I don't, I don't remember sending one that small but what, what do I know? My memory isn't the best anyway. Yeah the eyes came out nice, the ears came out nice, everything looks great. Skin looks real nice. Nice comb. Here's another one. Yeah, it looks great. They just seem bigger. I don't know why, but maybe they shrink. I don't know. Now this is the one that I was nervous about. My possum, I thought I might have skinned it a little thin, but... And I may have, because... No, nah, that's just... Actually, the possum came out nice too. I was a little nervous. This hair is just matted over. Might be thinned a little bit right there. But I was worried about it, but yeah, here you go. There's a little patch right there. I thought I scraped it a little thin, but other than that, it looks actually it looks pretty good. There's my trophy of the season there. Okay, here's beaver. Beaver actually came out pretty good. Ears are intact, the eyes are intact. I had removed the nose, so let's see. Came out pretty good. Can't complain. I, I have another little nick right there. Who knows what that could be from? But, and here's another one. Could be me, could be them, who knows. There's another one over here. And here. Who knows, looks good. I think I might hoop this, we'll see. Oh. Here's a mink and it's torn. I'll tell you what, that don't look good. That's pretty torn right there, pretty bad. Another another thing I I wonder about that. I don't remember having any white on my uh, mink. 
Well, sent them two mink. One came out nice, one did. One got cut pretty bad. Might be through the process, who knows. I just don't remember any weight, but who knows. Uh, this one looks beautiful, so... Okay. Here's a kit. I know I sent a kit. Two of them. But actually it came out pretty nice. Beaver fur always looks nice to me. Oh, here's my fox. Came out pretty good, really. Eyes look good, the ears look good. I get that other ear out. There it is. That was my first uh, time turning the ears, so they came out pretty good. I can imagine if you didn't turn the ears, it would not come out nearly as nice. I'll take a little brushing. There's another fox. Oh yeah, this one. That one looks beautiful. Eyes came out alright. Ears came out nice. Nice color to it. Came out nice. And here are the coyote. And the coyote came out pretty good. The ears are good. So it must have did pretty good turning the ears. Eyes came out nice, the ears came out nice. Of course, I'm going to have to brush them out. Here's a muskrat. Be tempted to use this for tying flies, but I won't. There that is. And the weasels. Actually, the house, the ears are all right, I guess. The eyes are nice, the nose. Tail, they came up, came out pretty nice. Same thing with this one, really. Oh, I'm surprised how well these, these are, were the ones I was worried about. This and the possum. There's another weasel. This one came out nice. All, all three of them came out pretty nice. Figure I'd share that with everybody. Actually, everything came out pretty nice. The only thing damaged a little bit was the one uh, mink there. The mink here is torn across here, but you know you sign a thing saying that that your risk, you know, they're not responsible for this. But I imagine it could happen. Maybe it caught the. Well, the legs are up here, so 
you know, to tell me, tell you the truth, I don't know what might might have caused that. But it is what it is. Okay. Thanks for watching. Well, I was pretty satisfied with the work Moyles Mink and Tannery did on my fur. Uh, what I'll do with the fur, most likely it'll be just sitting in my den. When I can no longer get it done, I'll be surrounded by some fur and just mementos of the past, I guess. Again, thanks for watching.